Hello, hello, welcome back to the Craft Scraps. I am Lauren, and today we are gonna be playing with more HTV and joggers and sweat sets because honestly, if this quarantine has taught us absolutely nothing, it's that a good sweat set or a good pair of joggers or a good hoodie is always good to have around. Today, of course, mine is gonna be wedding themed. You can do whatever you want. So these are the joggers. So they look very similar to the bridesmaid joggers that I did in the previous video. And then we have this super cute hoodie. Like, well actually it's not technically a hoodie. It doesn't have a hood, but I keep calling it a hoodie. But it's just like this cropped, super cute sweatshirt. I'm obsessed. Both of these are from Target, the Wild Fable brand. 15 buckaroos each. I don't know if they were on sale, but they were totally worth it because honestly, I might keep this for myself. I don't know if I'm technically considered a bride anymore since we already got married, but our reception is in September. Doesn't that count for something? I'm just joking. Anyways, all you're going to need for this is a pair of joggers, sweatshirt, you can do t-shirt, you can do whatever you want. The HTV concepts can always transfer to some other kind of fabric. As I mentioned, I'm going to be using white HTV that I got from Auntie Tay. As always, you can use my code the craft scraps to get a little bit of a discount. This video is not sponsored by her, but as you all probably know by now, I'm a, I've been an affiliate for her for like forever, like at least two years, three years. I don't know. Honestly, I've lost count. So that's all you're gonna need. I'm using my my mini press behind me for this craft, but of course you can use an iron, you can use a regular heat press, whatever your heart desires, you do you. You could totally do this with an iron. As always, you're gonna need your Cricut. That's behind me. I think that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you always get notified when I post a new video. And Think that's it so let's get started all right so for my bride sweat set these are the svgs i'm going to be using well it's actually one svg i just made it smaller so i'll show you how i uploaded those so both of these are from auntie tay if you are a member you get access to basically a gazillion svgs but if not, if you have another place that you like to find SVGs, you can upload them most likely in the same fashion. I'm gonna come find my bride SVG. So these are all of her wedding SVGs, obviously. So I'm going to click on it. It's gonna come right down here to my download. So I'm gonna click on it again to open it up. And you can see it's right down here in my downloads. So of course you can organize them however you want. So once you have it downloaded to your computer, you can come back to Cricut, come over here to the upload button, come to upload image, browse, and go to wherever you've saved it. So mine is in my downloads. So it should be right here. Then I'm going to click open. And I am saving this as a cut image, so this is perfect. And I just come over here to upload. And now you can see we have all of our uploads right here. So to actually get it on your mat, all you have to do is click it, click insert image, and there you go. So that's the nice thing about SVGs that are already ready to go, even ones that are this simple, because that is basically all we need to do, except for sizing it. So I already have mine sized up here, but I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to come over here to the little lock, click it so it unlocks, and this way we can basically manipulate the SVG however we want. And I do want a second version of this because I want it to be smaller to go on the sweatshirt. So the easy way to do that is just to come over here and click duplicate and it will duplicate your image for you. And then so we'll follow the same process to size. And that is basically it. So we can come over here to make it. And so well, actually, I only need one of these so I can hide the other ones. I only need one set. So since we are cutting these out on 
HTV or heat transfer vinyl, we want to make sure that we mirror our image. This way, we will put the HTV shiny side down or carrier sheet face down on the mat. So it will cut out our image backwards out of the iron-on, and then when we flip it over to actually press it, it will be right facing. So good to go, click continue. And so it's gonna find my maker up here, and the settings I'm gonna be using for this is everyday iron-on because I'm just using regular Caesar Easy Weed. If you're using glitter or something like that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to use the glitter setting. So I will switch you guys over to the camera so you can see how we're going to make it. All right, so for our sweatshirt, I'm gonna be using this white HTV. So when we're putting it on our mat, we wanna make sure a couple of things. One, that we're putting the shiny side face down on the mat, and also that we mirror our image in design space, which I'll show you how to do that. So basically, we're gonna make sure we're cutting out of the actual iron-on, and then we're gonna flip it, iron it over this carrier sheet, which is the shiny piece, and then peel the shiny part away. All right, so I can put this on my mat. And so I'm making the sweatshirt with the smaller bride, and I'm making the a pair of matching joggers with a bigger bride that'll be down the leg. All right, so we're gonna load our mat. And cut. All right, so we can unload our mat. Get our machine out of the way. All right, so I can take my HTV off the mat. And I'm just gonna be using my weeding tool to get rid of all of the excess material that we don't need. And so I'm just gonna pick up a corner and just basically pull away. All right, and so we have our little bride and our big bride, and so now we just need to get rid of all of the little middle pieces, and we wanna make sure we don't accidentally leave them on our carrier sheet because we don't want to accidentally iron them onto our design. So I just have a little trash can. And the trash can is from Lots of Style Shop. If you are curious, I freaking love this thing. And I know, I, I think I'm probably the um, minority when I say I, as a bride, well, I already got married, but I'm still a bride. We have our reception coming up, but as a bride, I actually prefer, some things I, pr I like white, like the traditional white, but sometimes, honestly, I prefer black. I'm just more comfortable in black, so like, I would totally rock this sweat set um, in black and then have the bridesmaids in gray or in like another color. So, can we like normalize brides wearing black? <laughs> All right. So we have our SVGs here, ready to go. All right, so for the sweatshirt, I'm using, again, this Wild Fable from Target, 15 bucks. Um, at the time this video goes live, I don't know if they'll still have it, but these like sweat sets, you guys, are really nice. <laughs> I bought myself a pair for myself. All right, so for the, I'm gonna trim this a little bit more. So for the bride, I want it to be like in this little corner right here. You could always do it in the center, do whatever you want, but I just want to be like subtle right there. 
And so what I didn't do in the other jogger video, which I should have done, is you're supposed to you're supposed to warm the area with your heat press first. I didn't do that, but so this kind of like obviously gets the wrinkles out, gets any moisture out. And then place it where you want it. All right, and so I am gonna throw some parchment paper on it just to make sure I protect the material. And I'm using my mini heat press for this just because I just feel more comfortable with it with something this small. So I'm just going to put my heat press on, hold, give it pressure, move it around. Just give it really good pressure. All right, so now we can peel off our carrier sheet and we have our super cute little bright sweatshirt. All right, and so for the joggers, we're gonna go through the same process. Oh my gosh, when I threw that, my SVG went flying. So I'm gonna do them on this side and I'm going to pull out the pocket just to make sure it's as smooth as possible. And again, I'm going to take my mini press and heat up the surface. And then I'm just going to place my bride kind of like an inch from the seam, making sure it's not on top of the pocket. All right, I'm gonna put my parchment paper over it. Take my easy press, my mini press and just Put it over. Give it good pressure. I like to make sure to get lots of pressure on the edge ends just so nothing lifts. All right, and we'll peel off our carrier sheet. All right, and so we have our super cute little bride sweat set. How cute and easy was that? Like so freaking cute. Honestly, I might keep this for myself, not gonna lie. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Don't forget to leave me a comment. As always, like and subscribe and happy crafting!